coming in on the GAMFI data. The large cap funds have seen an inflow of 970 crore rupees, which compares with an inflow of 663 crore rupees. Uh, the, uh, it's quite understandable because of the way Nifty has moved. We've seen that big move on Reliance Industries. We've seen that big move in some of these IT names. Uh, so the sectoral rotation is something that is seen in these numbers as well in the large caps. Small cap funds have seen an inflow, yes, but it has seen a decline versus the last month. So 2,263 crore rupees versus 2,724 crore rupees, that's the month-on-month -month number. The mid-cap flows also have slightly ebbed on a month-on-month -month basis. It just goes on to show how money is flowing back into large cap. Some of these bigger names that we've been talking about, the consumption names, be it HUL, be it the likes of Britannia and the other buzzing stocks in that particular sector. Uh, if we talk about one theme that has continued to do well, it's the sectoral or the thematic funds. There, the inflows have come at 22,351 crore rupees. And you know, that is a big number. It, there have been a lot of NFOs. There was the Mirai Automotive Fund, uh, the SBI Automotive Fund as well. All of these sectors, uh, sectoral funds, are something which are putting a lot of money into the space as well. And that's why sectoral or thematic funds have done really well. So 22,351 crore rupees, that is the big number that we should uh, talk about. There were 17 NFOs that mobilized inflows worth 15,227 crore rupees in the month of June. And that's why we, we are seeing that big number on the equity side as well. And we are seeing that big number in the sectoral funds as well. That's a very important number and the graph that for that should also come up for you on the screen. Apart from that, the dividend yield funds, uh, 520 crore rupees uh, is the inflow there. Uh, we'll just watch out for the debt funds as well, how they've done. But overall, it's a decent number and the NFO rush is something for sure that is... Uh, uh, aided to all the numbers that we've been seeing, new fund offers, just look at that. It's 15,227 crore rupees, which compares with 10,140 crore rupees. Hybrid funds have actually seen a lower inflow this time around of 8,855 crore rupees, which compares with 17,990 crore rupees. Now, remember when people were not investing or very confused about where to invest, hybrid was one category which was doing really well. But that has seen inflows ebb a little in the month of June. Liquid funds continue to do well. Uh, sorry, there is an outflow again of 80,354 crore rupees. ETFs have seen an inflow of around 9,134 crore rupees. Uh, but again, as we said, we'll be discussing it with our guests very soon. But uh, okay, so we do have Sandeep Bagla of Trust Mutual Fund joining us now. Sandeep, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, it looks like a lot of these flows are led by NFOs as well. But what do you make of the initial numbers? Um, we have large caps seeing higher inflows, mid and small caps seeing some ebbing of flows here. Uh, yeah, so, you know, the lion's share of the money has been mobilized through sectoral uh, funds. So people are basically taking concentrated bets on specific themes. And I think uh, people have invested in diversified funds for so long. So I think this is a good, uh, uh, you know, a diversification in the sense that uh, people are taking now specific bets for the next three to five years, I guess. So even with the NFOs, and I think post NFOs also, these funds would have grown in size. Sandeep, uh, you know, what's actually uh, quite stark in this particular monthly number is the fact that uh, the pace of inflows that were very strong, both in the mid-cap and small-cap category, seems to have just slowed off a little bit. What do you attribute that to? Is it purely, you know, the kind of levels that those, uh, you know, indices are? Or is there more risk-reward favour in, uh, you know, towards the large-cap funds? No. So investing is, uh, you know, there is always some element of a flavour uh, of the season. So I guess, you know, there are a lot of expectations from the budget See, if you look at the thematic funds also and the sectoral funds, they will have an element, a very large element and component of small and mid-cap uh, stocks. So I don't think it is only the valuation which matters here. I think the, the entire uh, distribution industry uh, is concentrating on the new themes and you know people are very confident of the themes like defense, consumption, manufacturing, and all these uh, schemes are now attracting investor attention and some distribution push also. So it is not the valuation, I think. It is more uh, diversification from an investor's perspective and taking some specific bets on specific sectors, probably with the budget in mind, uh, probably with the announcements that are likely to come and benefit for the industries for the next uh, three to five years. 
the way we have seen that money flow into NFOs and the new NF, uh, the new fund offerings in the month of June and even last couple of months, that just speaks about how much there is uh, appetite for newer themes. This this time around, it was automotive. Now we have the energy fund coming in from ICICI approval. We'll have to see what kind of reaction it gets. Uh, but yes, definitely NFOs are driving a lot of money. You know, hybrid category, that is one uh, category I want to speak to you about, Sandeep, because it has seen a decline, around 8,000 crore rupees of flows versus uh, almost 17,000 crore rupees last month what explains this fall because usually or after whatever changes happen with debt funds or because of all, all the confusion people like okay let's move to hybrid this would be a safe category uh, what do you make of that i think it reflects basically the growing confidence on in indian markets see the and if nifty returns has been spectacular uh, mid cap small cap returns have been no less than spectacular this last month and uh, if you look at the current calendar year so current calendar year i think mid cap and small caps have given a return of almost 20 to 22% at the index level so that is giving a lot of confidence to investors and the incremental allocation is tilted towards greater risk so, you know, which is why probably the hybrid schemes uh, are getting lesser allocation. And uh, it is a part of, uh, you know, the momentum trade that, you know, you would like to be more with the market, you would like to take greater equity exposure. And so far, it has been paying off quite smartly. Uh, Sandeep, you know, one more important aspect will be the SIP numbers that will be out shortly, you know, when Amphi hosts the call. Uh, you know, April onwards, we've actually seen the number trend over 20,000 crore on a monthly basis. Uh, given that that is sticky money, do you see that particular trend continuing or at these elevated levels, do you feel there could be some slowdown as far as fresh inflows are concerned? No, I don't see that number coming down. Uh, there's a whole machinery which is working towards mobilization of SIPs. And also, investors, uh, some of the investors, you'll be surprised to know that they believe that the SIP is a separate category of investments. They disassociate it with mutual funds as a category. So they believe they are investing in SIPs and SIPs has gathered a momentum of its own. So I don't see SIPs coming down uh, at all uh, unless there is some you know, liquidity tightness or there is some big shift in uh, you know, consumer investor preference. I think this will continue to go for at least some more, few more months to come. Okay, all right, uh, Sandeep, uh, thank you for your take. In fact, we also have one more guest joining us, Suresh Soni of Baroda BNP Parba Mutual Fund joining us now. Uh, Suresh, good afternoon, thank you so much for joining us. Well, just wanted your take on the mutual fund numbers, the higher inflows in the large caps, big flow into the equity funds overall. Do you think it's driven by what we have seen with NFOs and sectoral funds? Or do you think this could be a sustainable trend going forward? Sure. So first of all, the overall AUM has touched a new high of 60 lakh crores. So if you just look at it, the industry just about 10 years back used to be 10 lakh crores industry. So it took us about 50 years from start of UTI to about May 2014 to reach a total landmark number of 10 lakh crores. And just in the last about seven months from December till about end of June, that's about six months, we have added fresh 10 lakh crores from 50 lakh crores to 60 lakh crores. So I I think this is a good uh, momentum that we are witnessing now in the mutual fund flows where the previous 10 lakh from 40 to 50 came in about 13 months and the last 10 lakhs from 50 to 60 came in just about six months. Um, this is essentially on the back of uh, increased awareness in the investors, increased participation that we are witnessing and as well as the culture of SIP that we have started seeing. And that has continued consistently at about 20,000 crore plus for the last several months. And that is leading to a sustained inflow into the market. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Suresh, as well as uh, uh, Sandeep for joining us. You know, it's a very good set of numbers, you know, at least at the first take. We'll wait by uh, for what the actual monthly SIP numbers are as well. Let's now slip into a short break. We'll get you more on the markets and stock-specific action on the other side. Stay tuned.